and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lauren McKinney and I love making videos about capsule wardrobing and sustainable style made easy. In today's video, I want to talk about an easy way to develop a seasonal color scheme so that when we develop our seasonal capsules, we have the guidance of a color scheme to help us shop and pull things out of our closet and pull things out of storage so that we don't purchase things kind of willy-nilly and then end up, you know, with a lot of pieces that we don't wear because they don't match with anything else in our wardrobes. So if that sounds like it would be interesting or helpful to you, definitely give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm trying to get to 7,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so definitely hit that subscribe button to help me meet that goal. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about color schemes in general. Are they helpful to you? Do you have one? Or are you trying to develop one currently? So let's go ahead and get into the video. First of all, I want to say that I think it's really important before you watch this video to have an all year basics color scheme because that's kind of the foundation that I'm going to be using um, to help develop this seasonal color scheme. So if you haven't yet developed an all year basics color scheme, definitely go watch this video, which is linked in the cards, but also in the description down below to help you figure out how to develop your all year basics color scheme. If you have already developed an all year basics color scheme, then developing a seasonal color scheme is going to be pretty easy based on the methods that I use to develop my own. So let's talk about some of the key characteristics of a seasonal color scheme. These are kind of goals that you want to achieve when you are creating your color scheme for specific seasons. So there are three that I would like to highlight. The first one is that there are fewer colors in your seasonal color scheme than there are in your all year basics color scheme. The second is that these colors can mostly mix and match with the colors in your all year basics. And the third characteristic is that these colors feel season specific, which we'll go into detail a little bit later on in the video, but essentially this just means, do these feel like appropriate colors for the season that you're designing your scheme for? So keeping these key characteristics in mind, we can go through some steps that helped me personally get from my all year basics color scheme to my seasonal color scheme. So all of these steps do require using your all year basics as a foundation. And my favorite tool for developing color schemes is Canva because I find that it's really easy to like um, change colors up and to compare them. So I'll be showing on the screen how I use that tool to develop my own seasonal color scheme. So the very first step that you want to take is to pick some of the basics or neutrals from your all year basics color scheme and use these as a foundation for your seasonal color scheme. Then we want to take some of these colors and we want to make them season specific. We want to make them appropriate for the season and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So for fall and winter, for example, you might want to take cooler colors from your all year basics color scheme and make them warmer or make them darker. So I'll use my own color scheme as an example. This is my all year basics color scheme. And you'll see that I have these, I've pulled these two colors out, this kind of light beige color and then this light blue color. So when I was developing my seasonal color scheme, I thought to myself, I love these colors, but I wanna make them season specific. So I'm gonna take this light beige color and I'm gonna turn it into a warmer neutral. So I decided to embrace this warm camel color that I felt like really was a appropriate for the cool weather season. And I did something similar with the blue. I took this light blue and I decided to make it a darker, richer blue for my seasonal capsule. So this way I'm using my all year basics as a foundation, but altering the colors to suit the season. So another example is that for spring and summer, you might lighten the colors to better suit the season. So I'll use my own color scheme as an example again. I have this beautiful dark green in my All Year Basics color scheme. And so I took that color and for my seasonal color scheme, I decided to take this green and transform it into a lighter green, almost a sage or an olive green, because I felt that suited the season better. 
A lot of the time, I like to use nature as a reference. I think that's a really great place to start. So just as the colors outside change, we can change the colors in our color scheme to match that. So you'll notice that a lot of autumn and winter color schemes have darker colors because the sun is out for less time, the leaves are changing to these beautiful warm colors, golds, reds, oranges. And I think that that camel color in my scheme references that a little bit, whereas the dark blue references the kind of overall darkness, like physical darkness that comes with the season. And it's the same thing for the spring and summer color scheme. The grass is being reborn, the leaves are starting to grow on the trees again. We have this beautiful new green growth, and so this lighter green is a reference to that. So that's the first step. Now, the second step is to add a standout or accent color to those more neutral or basic colors in our seasonal color schemes. So this can be different across all of your seasonal color schemes. Mine just so happened to be the same color for both my fall winter and my spring summer color schemes. So I've chosen my accent color to be shades of pink. So for my fall, and winter color scheme, I've gone for this beautiful dark pink, which I think, again, this darkness and richness is a beautiful reference to what is going on in the world during that time of the season. Whereas for my spring-summer color scheme, I've gone for this beautiful blush pink that represents all the new growth that is also happening in the season. And this color can manifest in full pieces in your wardrobe, for example, like I have a whole dress that is pretty much a reference to this beautiful pink color in my fall winter color scheme. Or if you're just trying to experiment with color and don't feel like you want to dedicate whole portions of your wardrobe to an accent color, then you can bring this color out in accessories or jewelry, so your bags and scarves or hats, even makeup or anything like that can be a reference to this accent color. You also want to make sure that this accent color goes with the other colors in your seasonal capsule. And like I've said before, I just compare this right in Canva. I literally drag the color and put it up against my other seasonal colors to make sure that it makes sense. Does this match? Would I wear this together? And if it doesn't, then I know that I need to tweak that color slightly or choose a completely different color in order to create cohesion between all of the colors in my color scheme. And the last step to creating a seasonal color scheme is to make sure that all of the colors in your seasonal scheme match the ones in your all year basics color scheme. And again, I do this right in Canva, just like I did in that last step. I literally drag the colors to the other colors and I make sure that they match up. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect. There are definitely some colors here that I wouldn't wear together or that if I did wear together, it wouldn't be in whole pieces. For example, this warmer neutral that I have in my color scheme would maybe be a little bit difficult to style with this kind of beige, this light beige color that I have in my All Year Basics but it matches most of the other colors. So I know that I have a lot of versatility. It's not a perfect science, but it will still work for me and it will make me feel like I'm still in touch with what is going on in the season. Same thing for my spring summer color scheme. I go through and I literally drag the colors to see if it matches. And you'll notice that in my spring summer color scheme, I have a lot of repeat colors, which is fine. That's just saying, you know, that these colors manifest a lot in my seasonal capsule. But for example, this beautiful dark green that I have in my all year basics would be kind of difficult to style with this lighter, more dusty green that I have in my seasonal color scheme. And so, so again, it's not a perfect science, but it works for the most part. So don't feel pressure to get every single color perfect. You just want to make sure that most colors work with each other in most scenarios. By doing that, you can ensure that you're still wearing colors that you love while still making sure that you have a closet that makes it really effortless to get dressed. You're not stressing about whether colors match or not. You are simply relishing in the art of getting dressed and putting outfits together. And I truly think that a seasonal color scheme makes that possible. 
So that's it for today's video. Like I said at the beginning, it's actually a really simple process. Essentially, you're dragging two colors out of your All Your Basics color scheme, transforming them so that they feel more season specific, adding an accent color, and then making sure that all of those colors work with most of the colors in your All Year Basics. If you have an All Year Basics color scheme, one that works all year round, then this is a really easy and simple process. I think that color schemes are really kind of the key to having a cohesive wardrobe that works together, especially if you're trying to implement more color into your life and not just wear neutrals all the time, color schemes are a great, great way to start doing that. They force us to be intentional about what we purchase, which I think is truly the end goal of having a capsule wardrobe and just a smaller wardrobe in general. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below to get us to that 7,000 subscriber mark by the end of the year. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that it helped spark some inspiration for you to develop your own color scheme to achieve cohesion in your own wardrobe. Thanks so much for watching. It's been an absolute honor to spend this time with you and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye!